Okay, let's see here. Let's line it up right. Antlers! <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I have been all over the place this month already. At the beginning of the month, I flew back to upstate New York where I recorded the Flying with Cowboy Boots video. And just this past weekend, I flew to Phoenix, Arizona with my fiance to attend a wedding there. And on both occasions, I brought extra cowboy boots. Now, that might not seem like that big of a deal, but I'm a light packer to begin with. All I ever travel with is this duffel bag because I don't like to carry a lot of extra luggage. So I'm gonna share with you today how I packed my cowboy boots for a short weekend to fit in just this duffel bag with all of the other things that I needed. Pants, dress shirts, t-shirts, socks, bolo ties. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Next. This weekend, I brought my Cayman Boule cowboy boots as the extra pair of cowboy boots in my duffel bag. And one of the things I'm concerned about whenever I pack an extra pair of cowboy boots in my duffel bag is the weight of all of the other things that I pack weighing on the cowboy boot and causing creases and things that I don't necessarily want that could alter the shape maybe permanently of the cowboy boots. So I am very careful whenever I pack extra cowboy boots in my duffel bag. One of the ways that I keep from getting strange creases in the cowboy boot, because as you can see, there's nothing in here right now, is I stuff it full of things that I already need, like socks and t-shirts. So I'm gonna show you here um, with some fun socks because why not? These are crazy socks, right? First, I start off by just putting the socks as deep as I can into the toe of the boot. And I do this with several different pairs. Maybe it takes like three or four, depending on how thick the socks are. This boot right now is going to take three pairs of socks in the foot of the boot here. Then next, I fill the shaft with rolled up t-shirts. So I take shirts that I'm planning on wearing and I just roll them up and put them in the shaft of the boot. Usually two works just fine. And this makes for a great support for putting the boot in the bottom of the duffel bag and then layering the clothes or whatever else you need on top of that. And you don't have to worry about the boot getting different creases and folding in strange ways because you have the support of the socks and the shirts in the boot itself. I think this is a great way to travel with extra cowboy boots because you do not want your favorite pair of boots getting messed up by the other things in your luggage. And now we'll just do it for the other boot. Here are some more crazy socks. Oh, you gotta love the tall socks. Do you guys wear any tall, funky, crazy socks with your cowboy boots? I just really like the fact that you can wear something crazy underneath an awesome pair of boots. And then again, we're gonna put two rolled up t-shirts into the shaft here. And boom, another well-supported cowboy boot to put in the bottom of my duffel bag and they do not have a chance to get folded in strange ways because they have the support of the socks and the t-shirt. And that's what I got for today. That's the best way to keep your extra pair of boots safe while traveling with just a duffel bag. It's a great way to travel light with an extra pair of boots and not have to worry about trying to shove one of those heavy suitcases into the overhead compartment. You can just get on the plane with this, put it in the seat in front of you, and you're ready to go, and you have an extra pair of boots at the ready whenever you need. Let me know how you pack your extra pair of boots if you ever travel with extra boots. I'd love to hear it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Peace, everybody. You can travel light 
Make an easy flight And carry an extra pair of cowboy boots To show up right Yeah My name is Jeremiah Craig Thank you for watching today Don't forget to comment And subscribe, why don't you? <laughs>